So when you look at the, uh, the boat landing, it is just amazing the, the force of the water. Uh, these, these humongous pavers, they were displaced, they were thrown into the water. Basically, the boat landing was pretty much destroyed. There was damage that was found that wasn't previously understood. So originally, it had been thought that there was a concrete pad uh, in the boat landing on the interior, but as they started excavating, they realized that there was indeed no uh, concrete pad in there. Uh, there were ties that held the walls together, um, but a lot of these had a significant corrosion. What causes the damage there was a the tidal activity, the tides coming in and out, pulling the soil um, out from um, holes that, that, exi that, you know, that existed or that formed over time through erosion in that basin. We had to go ahead and remove all of the sand and existing pavers that were there. We reinforced the interior with new tensioner rods and we filled it with a geotextile liner, added 57 rock and poured a concrete slab to give structural and uh, a sort of stability uh, for the replacement of the pavers. The mitigation that we've done will prevent or reduce the likelihood of any kind of uh, displacement of future uh, pavers and we're currently replacing the pavers at this time. We moved them onto the North Sea Arm so that we had a blank slate. And then we went ahead and started replacing all of the pieces like a puzzle. We used the blueprint back from the original construction. There was a lot of documentation that Vizcaya had that certainly helped. Um, mostly historic photos, believe it or not, because they gave us an idea of what the actual look was when it first was installed. There isn't a single component that was that was uh, too difficult, but the logistics of the overall project, um, if you think of it kind of like a bathtub in the middle of the ocean, and having to do work around that, and having to fight the tides, and having to um, you know to work from material barges that are moving and getting materials there. So uh, we finally were able to start the restoration in December, November, December of last year. It's May now and hopefully by um, July we will be able to complete this project. Help preserve Vizcaya and its collection. Donate to Vizcaya's Conservation Fund online at vizcaya.org donate.